Cambodia 2017 Warning 9 Great Service and a Cheeky Beverage This is the ninth segment of the story of my trip to Cambodia. It was a hectic 18 days. Unfortunately, my descriptions of some parts of the trip have gone missing. My apologies. These few videos will describe what I do still have remaining. Please enjoy. And then, finally, it was time to leave Cambodia. I flew to Philippines by means of flying west to Malaysia so I could fly east to Manila. My means of travel was by Malaysia Airlines. Now, for Malaysia Airlines, I had two requests. One, don't crash into the Indian Ocean. And two, don't get shot down over Ukraine. They managed both of these. And they went beyond the call. I had placed my iPhone plug into the magazine pocket on the back of the seat in front of me, not noticing that the bottom corners of this pocket were not solid. Sure enough, as we approached Kuala Lumpur, I noticed that my plug had fallen through one of these holes. No worries, because even though I couldn't immediately locate said plug, I'd just wait until everyone had deplaned. I was near the back anyway, and find it then. So I did. And there it was. Not there. Meanwhile, two of the flight attendants noticed my search and assisted me with it, to the same lack of success. I told them that it wasn't that big of a deal and that I would just buy a replacement. But to this, they were not in agreement. Once discovering that I had a long layover and thus was not in a rush, they bade me wait just off the plane whilst the cleaning staff would locate my lost item. They even told the curious security guy there why I was loitering in the ramp plane side, and, after about ten minutes, my plug was returned to its owner. Very impressed with the service. And then an 11-hour overnight layover at Kuala Lumpur's main terminal. It took me a bit to figure out the shuttle to get to the satellite terminal that was to be my disembarkment location, but then it was off to their 24-hour lounge, complete with shower. There is a three-hour time limit at this lounge that I exceeded by a good six hours. That said, I was not the only such naughty boy. Plus, I had a free beer at the lounge adding to my naughtiness quotient by actually partaking in an alcoholic beverage in a Muslim country. Great beer! Then I boarded my flight, and it was off to Philippines. That's it for the ninth portion of my trip to Cambodia. Unfortunately, as stated, much of my original descriptions of my visit to this country have been lost. Please accept, with my apologies, the stories and photos that I have been able to recover. Also, as always, please like and subscribe. Hit notifications too if you feel the want. Any comments you may have will be much appreciated. Be safe, be well, and be happy!